I'm Dan Galusha and welcome to another edition of Shoot and Plank. You know, just recently we did a video of the unboxing of an Antarctica set of knives and what I would call a hatchet or tomahawk. It's got a narrower blade to it. It doesn't have the real wide one like the axe that I designed that was what you would classify as a hurl bat. Anyway, we're not into that right now. We're going to be talking about these Antarcticas. I told you we we're going to do more on test and evaluation. And the first thing we're going to do is talk about the case. Uh, I really like this case. It's nice. Uh, it's got fasteners here. It's got everything in it. And I showed you this before. You got your three hatchets right there. Uh, you've got your knives right here. So what we're going to talk about next is what's inside of it. And I've been doing a lot of throwing. And we're going to be talking about that. We're not going to do as much on the knives because I haven't really been all that impressed with them. I'll show you what they do. Uh, first off, the design of them. Uh, if I was going to design these, I like this right here because it's kind of an, an indication of places that I want to throw. But it just seems like the weight on these is, it's definitely, it, it has a balance. Let's see where the balance is. The balance is about there, and yet it doesn't seem like it's there when you're throwing it. Um, 10 foot throws, I'm, I'm holding it clear down here. It is a good half spin for short distances if you grip it right. You don't grip it right, it's not going to work well. But that's what we're going to do first. I'm going to show you some half spins with this. So let's go up there and we're going to do some throwing. Right, we're up here at the 7 yard line. And these knives and everything, this whole set actually was more or less just gauge towards people that are just wanting to go out and have some fun. Just take them with them like to camp don't know. Don't take them into a campground. No, -uh, don't do that because that's too dangerous. If you're going out camping otherwise, out in the outdoors, and never throw at a live tree, please don't throw at live trees. Take your own targets or whatever, or if you've got a round like that, so much the better. But we're up here at seven feet right now. And these work pretty good, like I said, for half spin. And uh, so they're not too bad that way. Now when you're going to grip these for half spin, I'll show you that. You're going to hold them right down here, just like that. Now that one I knew was not going to stick, and I'll show you why. Well, I said you want to make sure that you grip them right and that's here I was talking about this little spot as an indication that's right where I've got it that's where I've got it to stick it now I had said originally that I thought these would be a good no spin they don't I just don't seem like now that one I got that one I didn't that one stuck, but it didn't. Um, I'm just not convinced on no spin on these. I'm sure Adam Saladin could <laughs> throw them like crazy, because he can throw anything. He can throw a nail and get it to stick. Okay, we're going to try it at 10 feet now. I keep falling over stumps I haven't cut. Uh, and I'll show you how I stick them. Hopefully I stick them. Okay, now I'll show you what I did. These are a real trick. And uh, what I did is I used this hole that you see in the bottom. Put my thumb right in it, just like that. That's how I threw it. Now we're going to go back to 16 feet. Not 13, because for some reason 13 is just not a good spot to throw these. They just don't want to work. So we're going to try them at 16. Well, that last one stuck, but it came out. Uh, I'll show you what I did with those. And you really got to throw these from 16. Because of the fact they are lightweight. I had to put it like this, 
with this right here this little curve right here right down below my palm that's how I did it I'll go back try this one again okay it's stuck barely but it's stuck to me these knives are just strictly are close seven foot half spin like that and you really got to follow through with it um, as you can tell they're not my favorite knives but let's go to the hatchets now that's a different story okay we're going to be talking about the tomahawks hatchets whatever you want to call them because they do have the smaller area here and uh, first off I want to talk to you about customer service it is super how do I find out well right here see this little damaged spot right there that is not the company's fault take a look at this photo in that photo you'll notice I was thrown very tight groupings with these and in doing so I put the one axe right into this handle kind of spread it but as you can see it's back together I've made a few other notches on them which you can't really see these handles are really durable I put them through the test on these things they are just super but the company said they would replace that if it was too far gone. Worked. I threw another brand of axe that it broke, their handle broke on the first throw and it didn't even hit. I mean, another axe did not hit it. It just broke. Company says, we don't have any spare parts. And they're a well known company, too. I'm not going to tell you who they are. It's kind of upsetting, really, because they had a knife do the same thing. With these, I've developed a close distance throwing technique that you can't use otherwise because most of the time when you're going to throw any sort of an axe tomahawk whatever you're going to go full bore like that this is what i call flick throwing so let me get around here we'll give it a try now you can see there what i did I, real quick i'm actually pulling the handle out from under it as I'm going just like this and flipping it and you can see that when you do that you're doing it so fast that uh, and hopefully I wasn't in your way but uh, you're doing it very very fast and I think by doing that you hit very close to the center in the bullseye area as you can see and I threw a very tight grouping but it's just like that I don't know if I can do it so you can see it or not now hopefully you could see that one and uh, I wasn't really aiming at anything because of that let's go all the way back to 30 feet and uh, I'm gonna take it back there with me so you know that's where I'm throwing from there we go we're actually back here with pepper He's way back here. I keep him safe distance. Okay, all three. That's what I wanted to do. Now I'll show you the way I do it. This is the one that hit the center. And what I do is I use this little spot right here. And I put this finger right here, my third finger right into there so actually I have nothing down here and what I'm using that for is so that I have more weight to fly through the air in other words I don't know if I can do it from here but actually I stuck the handle believe it or not uh, but you could see what I was doing anyway so let's go back up that way and we'll talk a little bit about this Well, you've seen, I mean, the handle would even hurt a little bit if it hit you. It was up to about this far in there. So, like I said, that, that's from 30 feet. And uh, they throw real good at the competition distance of around 12 feet. And, of course, you have about a 3-foot area around it. So, yeah, it, it works real good in that. I uh, have no problem with it that way. The handle's designed a little different. There's no doubt about that. Um... You can even see here where the axe has been hit by another axe and itself has damaged the other one, but still it's not that bad. Uh, blades are holding up real good. Um, 
they're not for short distances other than that real quick flip that I took, showed you before how to do that and uh, so you know these Antarctic tomahawks hatchets whatever you want to call them I like them I really do I, I would definitely say get the whole set because if you want to play around with those knives that's fine I mean again they're for a short distance just a half spin to me that's all they are just a half spin thing which that short distance is about the same as if you're throwing darts so you know what the heck you can still have a little bit of fun competing with one another on that and uh, these hatchets tomahawks whatever they're good I, I really like these I'm impressed with them and the handles that is what really really I like these handles the only thing I don't like about it the handles and I'll show you and that's just a preference for me is you can see how they stick I like doing some trick throwing where you throw all three at the same time you have a little bit problem here see that because the handles don't fit flat you have to have them flip, fit flat and at that rate you have to take them off I'm not gonna do it because I like these handles I, I'm not sure what they're made out of uh, it's like a rubberized polymer or something but whatever it is they're very very durable and that's what you want if you're going to be throwing tight groupings you can see I might have to take a bit of a file to the blade on that one it's got a damage spot and that is probably from yeah that's pretty good damage in fact I don't know if you can see that or not um, that's probably from hitting one of these others because when you throw tight groupings that's what happens with knives and your axes but as far as these go hey I like these Antarctic uh, tomahawks they're they're super and again like I said the knives they're a half spin close order have fun with them that's about it so until next time shoot safe or in this case throw safe and have a great day of blinking